I'm here with Bradley of Alec and Bradley, and they have some amazing news that came out this morning. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. Glad to be here. Glad to be uh, on the show. I, I bet you are. It's a really. Are you, are you excited about this news? About the Gatekeeper Diamond that we're releasing? Yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Nothing else. Right, right, yes. Yeah. Tell me about. Tell me about the Gatekeeper. Uh, so the Gatekeeper was the second release by me and my brother. Uh, we've done the diamond shape before, last time the Black Market Esteli and the time before that our Nick Apiro. But now we're doing a more popular uh, you know, blend and brand, the Gatekeeper. So this will be coming out in a couple months, 1,500 boxes only. Excellent. Can we see one? Sure. The packaging is pretty unique. Look at that box. That's awesome. So it is a little hard to see, but if you kind of look closely, you'll see that diamond shape. You'll see that it's not a box press, but it's got a, a weird diamond uh, press to it that we only us make and created. I was going to say, I've never seen a diamond-shaped cigar before. That's very unique. Pretty cool. Why did you guys do that shape? I have no idea. Um, that was something that my dad created a long time ago. I think it came off of a Trilogy. Trilogy, we, um, we released back in the early 2000s, and then we did another release uh, last year or two years ago, and it's a triangle press cigar. So that was kind of our entryway into weird presses that my dad created on his own was the triangle press, and then now we got the diamond. I can't even imagine what the press looks like. It has to be very like difficult to get them all in there. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Like I don't do that part, so it's okay. Yeah, that's that's exactly why I said I think so. And how did, how does the mouth feel on that? It feels normal. Like it, it does get a little bit of getting used to, but again, it's it's like a it's a it's not a box press, but it's close to one, so you, you're kind of used to it. But yeah. the angles are just in different areas. And what, what tobaccos are going into that? Uh, so we have Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. Uh, Nicaraguan binder and Dominican and Nicaraguan fillers. Oh, nice. Very nice. So a lot of uh, two biggest pr tobacco producing countries right there. Sounds pretty lovely. It's, what would you say it's like medium and... Medium to full. Uh, I get more on like the medium plus side, um, but you're going to get kind of like cocoa, pepper. So it's going to be like dark and rich, but a lot, a lot of flavor. Awesome. We love a lot of flavor. That medium body with a lot of flavors, that's like the sweet spot. Yeah. Always is, always, always. Can we talk about the, the other news? Yes, we can. All right. So if you haven't heard, because it just came out this morning, and if you're watching this video, it's probably two days later, um, Alec and Bradley may or may not be being acquired. Yes. Yeah, so it got announced this morning that um, STG, Scandinavian Tobacco Group, is planning. Uh, the deal hasn't been finalized yet, but planning on acquiring Alec Bradley, Alec and Bradley, all the brands under, you know, the two companies. Um, and uh, so we'll see about, you know, the deal being finalized shortly. But, you know, the plan is, uh, is that it's been announced. And if you don't know, STG is so big that they own General Cigar, which is a huge company in itself. So can I ask you, are you guys, I know it's speculation at this point, nothing's in, in you know, the ink isn't signed on paper yet, but... Are they going to be acquiring the entire portfolio, or do you not know yet? Um, I, I'm not so sure yet. I, I'm sure that will be part of the discussion, but I, I'm sure they're interested in our entire portfolio. You know, we make, we have a lot of different brands. You know, in every single range. So I'm sure they're interested. But again, that's all speculation. If if you had your choice, would you like to stay on with your company under STG, or would you like to maybe go try something new? Um, I'm not sure. You know, at this point. Again, with the deal not being finalized just yet, you know, until that happens, and then I can start talking about, you know, employment. Um, it would be too early to tell, but I do want to mention, you know, how much Alec Bradley has meant to me. It's been my entire life. The company was started just a year after I was born, so um, you know, Alec Bradley means everything to me. It's more than business. It's it's family. It's been my entire life and given so much to me personally. So that's that's what I want to, you know push and say is just thank you to everyone that's been at Alec Bradley for so long. When when was your first official payroll day on the job at Alec Bradley? Um, let's see. I how old how old were you? I my, the first time I got paid uh, was 2017, so that was what six years ago. So 21, right? So May June I think May or June of of 2017. Yeah, but you're, you've been playing playing there since before you could walk. Yeah, I mean, the the weird thing for me is that I even though I grew up in the Alec Bradley business, I didn't necessarily grow up in the tobacco cigar industry. If that makes sense, I wasn't down in the factories. Uh, that wasn't a thing until I 
graduated, started working, and then I got to go there for the first time uh, when I was 21. Um, but, you know, I've been around the company since, you know, we were in a little office, you know, probably the size of our booth, you know, and, and then moving to a bigger office. And now, you know, we're in a, a much bigger office. So it's, it's just crazy to see the growth of Alec Bradley, what, you know, the people here have been able to accomplish and to just be a part of it. When you make good cigars, you grow. So if you end up not working for Alec Bradley anymore, we would love to take you on because you have a fantastic mustache for interviews. Thank you. I get that a lot. Where are they? <laughs> Thank you very much, Bradley. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>